We have got a story honoring the memories of every single veteran who's ever served our country. It is a story about what happened 40 years after a young Marine from Gates died in the Vietnam War. And News 8's Evan Axelbank joins us with that. Yeah, Maureen and Kevin, you know, this all started back in August, as often happens during the story. Uh, on something else, I met someone named Dave Flaherty at the traveling, uh, traveling Vietnam Memorial Wall uh, in Fairport. Now, Dave told me that he lost a friend in Vietnam and he told me that his friend had a wife and daughter that he lost touch with. Now, after four decades, it was his life's goal to see them again. And we were able to find Joanne Burke and her daughter, Lisa. And what follows is the reunion of a lifetime. Three people united by one man and one war. The man is the one in the picture, a 19-year-old Marine from Gates Robert Bryson was shipped to Vietnam in 1966. He was part of me. He was my husband, the father I never knew. Robert E. Bryson was one of eight Americans killed in a shootout on March 26, 1967. Dave, a Rochester area Marine himself, was in Vietnam when he got the news about Robert, who he met while stationed in Rhode Island. Your heart just crumbles and it breaks apart. The life Joanne thought she would have with Robert and Lisa at their house in Gates was taken. I thought that he was immortal and I was immortal. I would have dreams where I would be sitting somewhere and he would come up and say it was all a mistake. Lisa was two months old when her father died. It's just uh, a constant, you know, who was he and what would he be doing now? Is he proud? By the time Dave got back from Vietnam, Joanne was already gone. She moved with Lisa to the military town of Norfolk, Virginia, and in some ways, she left her old life behind. After the funeral, and nobody wanted to bring it up to upset me, and, and I didn't want to bring it up because I thought it was upsetting to the rest of my family. The two lost touch. Dave stayed near Rochester, spending the next four decades building his own family, but always talking about his best friend, Robert Bryson. And how could he not? He has carried a picture of a seven-month-old Lisa for 42 years, wondering. I'd love to know what this child looks like now. Joanne's former life was always there, lingering. I don't think a day has gone by that I haven't thought about Dave and thought about, you know, what's he doing? What, is his, what did his life turn out like? Their questions were answered. On a rainy night in late October, we flew Lisa in from Chicago and Joanne in from Virginia. You made it. Hours later, Joanne and Dave got answers and Lisa got closer to her father than ever before. And what happened after is one of the most emotional things that I've ever been a part of. Uh, you know, we do lots of stories here, but um, I can honestly, honestly say that this one is one that um, I'll carry with me forever. This uh, was really special. That last picture in your story yeah. at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, that was Dave off in the distance, and they meet tomorrow. Right, it was at Highland Park uh, okay. uh, here in Rochester, and um, they will, will show you the meeting that happened uh, uh, in late October, we'll show you that meeting tomorrow on News 8 at 11. And um, one of the things that we talked about being at that memorial was how there was such a connection they felt with so many of the veterans who are now serving um, in Iraq and, Af and Afghanistan and with the families mm -hmm. back here in the United States. There's such a, a kinship being felt, and I think some of that will come through, a lot of that will come through in the story that airs tomorrow night. And an incredible reunion. Yeah. Right. It was 40 so years emotional. later. It was right. so emotional. It was right. great. Thank tomorrow, you, Evan. Tomorrow 11. night at 11. Yeah.